Club Deportivo Guadalajara is a Mexican professional football club based in Guadalajara, Jalisco. Guadalajara plays in the Liga MX with 11 first division titles, 7 Campia Cubes de Campones, 1 Interliga, 1 Copa Challenger, 4 Copa Oros de Occident, and 2 Copa Mar Copyright Zico. Guadalajara is one of the ten founding members of the Mexican First Division and along with long-standing rivals Club Alma Copyright Rica, it has never been relegated to the second tier division. Most recently, Guadalajara is the runner-up of the 2010 Copa Libertadores, a feat tying with fellow Mexican club Cruz Azul in 2001. Guadalajara is the only football club in Mexico to exclusively field Mexican players. The team has constantly emphasized homegrown players and has been the launching pad of many internationally successful players, including Javier Hernandez, Carlos Vila, Omar Bravo, and Carlos Salcido among others. The team's three colors symbolize fraternity, union, and sports. The team mascot, as well as their nickname, is the Goat or Shiva. Shivas is one of Mexico's most successful and popular teams and holds the Mexican league record for the second longest winning streak at the beginning of a season, with eight consecutive wins. History, history, the team was founded by Edgar Everett, who arrived in Mexico in 1904. Their kit was modeled on that of the founders' favorite team, the Belgian club Brug KV, borrowing the vertical stripes and color scheme of the Brug strip in that era. Some historians assert that the colors come from the French tricolor because some of the club's first players were French. The first team comprised Mexican, Belgian and French players, named Union, because of the camaraderie between the players of different nationalities, most of whom were employees of the Fabricas de Francia store, with founder Everett as coach. A few Spanish and English also became members of the Unia Cube Den Football Club. On a tour of Europe, Everett noticed that European teams named after their respective town or city seemed to generate more support from fans in their communities. So, in 1908, with the approval of Everett and the players, Club de Football Union was renamed as Club Deportivo Guadalajara to engender a sense of loyalty within the city's population. In 1908, it was also decided that the team would only field Mexican-born players because of the growing sense of oppression Mexican nationals felt towards non-Mexican nationals. Following the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution, amateur football tournaments throughout the country flourished and Guadalajara was always involved. Between 1906 and 1943, Guadalajara won 13 amateur titles, the first in 1908. Also during this period, the oldest rivalry in Mexican football began to form, between Guadalajara and FC Atlas. Professional era, El Yamerito 1943 Euro 1953, in 1943 the Liga Mayor was founded after the merging of several regional leagues and the era of professional football began. Guadalajara struggled during the early years, with the exception of the 1948 Euro 49 season when they finished third. This same year Guadalajara was given the name Chivas Locas during a game against Atlas. The name was initially considered an insult, but later adopted as the team's nickname due to the overwhelming popularity of the club. During the 1951 Euro 52 and 1954 Euro 55 seasons, the team finished as runner-up in the league, leading to the nickname Yamerito. El Campeón Asimo 1955 Euro 1970 during the 1956 season, players such as Salvador Cheva Reyes, Jaime El Tubo Gomez, Isidro Lopez, and Jose Villegas were part of what is considered one of the finest teams in Mexican football history, El Campeón Asimo. Guadalajara won its first championship during the season due to a last-minute goal scored by Salvador Reyes. Led by coaches such as Donald Russ and Javier de la Torre in subsequent years, the team won seven league championships, two cups, three CONCACAF titles and seven Champion of Champions titles. It was the only team in Mexico's football history to win four league championships in a row, during the 1958 a Euro 59, 1959 a Euro 60, 1960 a Euro 61, and 1961 a Euro 62 seasons. El Campeón Asimo became internationally recognized and, 
in 1964 played several matches in Europe against such teams as FC Barcelona, Werder Bremen, and Lille Olympique, resulting in two victories, four draws and four losses for the team. The dark era 1971 a Euro 1983, during the 1970s and early 1980s, Guadalajara struggled. The best they could manage was to reach the playoffs twice, with a fifth place finish in 1971 a Euro 72 and a sixth place finish in 1976 a Euro 77. The resurrection 1983 a Euro 1991, during 1980 a Euro 81 season, the team reached a third place ranking. During the 1981 Euro 82 season, a tragic road accident took the life of team member Joseph Copyright Martinez. The team finished the season in 17th place. The club then hired coach Alberto Guerra, who had been a player for Guadalajara during the mid 60s. During the 1982 Euro 83 season, Guadalajara finished 7th in the league and qualified for the playoffs, going on to eliminate Atlante FC. In quarter-finals and Club Alma copyright Rica in semi-finals. The team reached the finals for the first time since the playoff format was introduced in the 70s, where it would go on to lose to Puebla FC. In a penalty shootout, Guadalajara would once again reach the finals in 1983 Euro 84, only to lose to America by an aggregate score of 5 a Euro 4. However they would continue being very competitive the rest of the 80s and early 90s, with their very best performance on the 1986 Euro 87 season, where they would finish first in the regular season and win the championship against Cruz Azul in the final. Their best players during this time were Benjama N. Galindo, Eduardo de la Torre Eduardo Yeo de la Torre, Jose Copyright Manuel de la Torre, Fernando Carrat, Javier Aguirre among other. La Promotora Nero 1992 February, by the end of the 1980s, Guadalajara began to experience financial troubles. Team directors decided to create a special financial sector that would be known as La Promotora Deportiva. The team would be sold for 10 years starting in 1992 to a petroleum executive named Salvador Martinez Gatza, who would be in charge of the Promotora and of team operations. Before Guadalajara began its new era under the Promotora, the team began the 1990s in average form, reaching the semi-finals in 90 Euro 91, reaching the quarter-finals in 91 Euro 92, and finishing in 13th place in 92 Euro 93. The new directors decided to bring back Guadalajara's champion coach in 1986 Euro 87 Alberto Guerra and purchase many players that would become icons for Guadalajara in the early 90s. Michel Espinosa, Alberto Guaymaru Garcia, and Alberto Coyote. The team also decided that it would rely on young talent from its basic training schools. Such talent included Paulo Cesar Tylon Chavez and Joel Tiburon Sanchez. At the beginning of the 93 Euro 94 season, the press and fans dubbed the new and improved team Las Super Chivas. However, despite expectations, the team was eliminated early on in the playoffs. The 94 Euro 95 season would bring about more change for the team. Guadalajara hired player Rama Cube Den Rama Rez. Also at the start of the season, directors sold all television rights of the team to Mexican giant Televisa, a move that was heavily criticized by fans because of Televisa's ownership of Club Arma copyright Rica. Guadalajara would end the 1993 Euro 1994 regular season as the leader in the league table, but was narrowly defeated by Club Nicaxa in semis. The 96 Euro 97 season saw the exit of coach Alberto Guerra, being replaced by the Dutchman Leo Bean Hacker. The team failed to make the playoffs that season. By 1996, the Primera Divisia Cube den de Mar copyright Zico season format would be changed to two short seasons per year. The first of the seasons, in Vino 1996, saw Guadalajara bring in another coach, Brazilian Ricardo Ferretti. During Ferretti's first season, the team managed to reach third place in the league table, but would be eliminated by Club Nicaxa in the quarterfinals. Guadalajara won its 10th championship under Ferretti in the Verano 1997 season against Toros Niza with the aggregate score of 7 a Euro 2. Guadalajara would once again reach the finals in the Invino 1998 season, 
only to once again lose to Nikaixa. The fans criticized the sale of player Ramon Ramirez to Club Arma copyright Rica. Jorge Vergara era 2002 a Euro present, after its tenth year in charge of Guadalajara, La Promotora was still in debt and finally put up for sale. On October 31, 2002, the team was acquired by a Guadalajara native and self-made entrepreneur, Jorge Vergara. Vergara was the founder of a dietary supplement company named Omnileaf. Vergara hired directors that would be in charge of handling business affairs. He also removed all sponsorship from Guadalajara's jersey. The jersey has since had limited sponsorship. In order to establish funding for the team, Vergara sought to market the Las Chivas name and capitalize on it, placing the name on anything from its own magazine to toothbrushes and its own brand of cola. For the Clausura 2003 season, Guadalajara hired Eduardo Yeo de la Torre, who had played for the team in the 1980s. The Apertura 2003 season would see poor results in the first half of the tournament, putting an end to Yeo de la Torre's tenure as coach. Coaching responsibilities would be temporarily assumed by Dutchman Hans Westerhoff and the team would barely qualify for a wild card showdown against Club Deportivo Toluca, but was subsequently eliminated. For the Apertura 2004, Guadalajara would display an offensive style of football and manage to place third in the league standings, qualifying for the playoffs. Players such as goalkeeper Oswaldo Zar NCHEZ, Ramon Morales, Omar Bravo, and newly acquired Adolfo Bautista, became instant fan favorites. They defeated Atlante FC in the quarterfinals and Toluca in the semifinals, but would lose in the finals against Unoversight Nacional in a penalty shootout. Nevertheless, the team had shown, since Vergara's arrival, that it was highly competitive, including in the 2005 Copa Libertadores, where it defeated favorites Boca Juniors for a Euro 0 AG to reach semis. Under coach Jose copyright Manuel Chapeau de la Torre, who was also a player for Guadalajara in the 1980s, the team won its 11th championship. For the Apertura 2006 season, Las Chivas placed 8th in the league table and qualified for the knockout round by defeating Veracruz 2 a Euro 1 in Veracruz and 4 a Euro 0 in the Estadio Jalisco in a wild card series. Guadalajara advanced to the quarterfinals where it defeated first place qualified Cruz Azul 2 a Euro 0 in the first leg and tie 2 a Euro 2 in the second leg, moving on to the semi finals against rivals Club Arma Copyright Rica. These wins allowed Las Chivas to advance to the final of the Primera Divisia Cube den against Toluca. The first match was played at Estadio Jalisco, in which Toluca and Las Chivas tied 1 a Euro 1 with goals from Omar Bravo for Las Chivas and Bruno Marioni for Toluca. On December 10, 2006, Las Chivas played at Toluca's home stadium Estadio Nemesio Daz and won 2 a Euro 1, thus becoming the Mexican League champions holding 11 titles, the most titles of any team in the league, now tied with rivals Club America holding 11 titles. The first goal was scored by Francisco Javier Rodriguez, and the second was by Adolfo Bautista. Bautista dedicated his goal and his team's victory to his mother, who had died shortly before. This championship was goalkeeper Oswaldo Zar NCHEZ's first in his career. After the Apertura 2006 championship the team has gone through a series of changes beginning with the departure of players like Oswaldo Zar NCHEZ, Adolfo Bautista, and Omar Bravo who went to play to Spain but returned later, however new faces like Jard Baghetti, Carlos Acoa who these two left the team later and Sergio Amari Ponce came to the team. Jose copyright Manuel de la Torre was fired in the Apertura 2007 tournament and replaced by Efrain Flores who coached until being replaced first by Omar Arellano New R plus or minus O who only coached one league game and two Copa Libertadores games, and then being replaced by Francisco Ramirez who had an unsuccessful period as a team coach having the lowest percentage of effectiveness of all the coaches hired in the last seven years. After Ramirez's poor results he was fired and replaced by Raul Arias, a former coach of Nicaxa and San Luis. Then on November 4, 2009, Raul Arias was fired and replaced by José Luis Real. 
Coach Jose Luis Real lead the team to an explosive start of the Bicentenario 2010 tournament, winning its first eight games in a row. Nevertheless, their winning streak was broken against a low-table team, the Jaguars of Chiapas, losing by a score of 4 a Euro 0. Las Chivas continues to be a major source for the Mexican national team in recent years. Under Jose Luis Real Chivas saw many young and promising players blossoming even more rapidly than expected. The second dark era 2011 a Euro present, since the release of Jose Luis Real as coach in October 2011, Chivas have struggled to maintain form, finding themselves with six coaches, Fernando Carrat, Ignacio Ambrosed, Alberto Coyote, John Van T. Ship, Benjamin Galindo, Juan Carlos Ortega, in the past two years and are now in danger of being relegated to the second division for the first time in history. On November 22, Guadalajara put six players in the transfer list for the upcoming season, including Marco Fabian, Miguel Ponce, and veterans Luis Michel and Hector Reynoso. On November 25, 2013, Jose Luis Real was announced to return to Club Guadalajara as head coach. Real showed improvement in the squad but was soon released after the team lost 4-0 at home to rivals Club America. On April 2, 2014 veteran manager Ricardo La Volpe was appointed as head coach. He was immediately released on April 30 supposedly due to having inappropriate conduct with a female staff member who later took legal action. On May 12, 2014, Carlos Bustos was appointed as head coach. Colors and Badge Once the team was renamed in 1908 as Club Guadalajara, they used initials, CG, in the center of the jersey. After a few years of the team's existence, the first proper crest was designed, still using the team's initials. They were eventually placed around a circle. This design would be used in the team's limited edition Centennial jerseys in 2006. Guadalajara's current crest was designed in 1923 and uses as its base, the crest of the city of Guadalajara, Jalisco. The crest was then complemented with a blue circle and the words Club Deportivo Guadalajara, five red stripes and six white stripes, eventual colors that were adopted by the team, and eleven stars representing each championship the team has won. The actual crest design is credited to brothers Everardo and Jose Espinoza, Angel Bolima, and Antonio Villalvazo, all of whom were players or directors of the team during that time. Kit provider, Adidas, sponsors, Bimbo, Scotiabank, Pepsi, past kits, JVC is a brand of property of the team's president, Jorge Vergara, although these are manufactured by Grendon de Mar copyright Zico S.A. de C.V., Stadium. From the 1930s to 1960 Guadalajara played in a small stadium known as Park Oblatos. Guadalajara shared the Estadio Jalisco, with their town rivals Atlas. Estadio Jalisco was opened on January 31, 1960. It was host for eight games in the 1970 FIFA World Cup, six for group stage matches, and two for quarter and semi-finals. The stadium was host for nine games in the 1986 FIFA World Cup, six of which were group stage matches, and one was a round of 16 and the last two were quarter and semi-finals. Chivas played in the Jalisco Stadium from 1960 to 2010. Due to the aging structure of the stadium and the desire of Chivas to have an own stadium Chivas administration with an investment of $130 million began to build a new home. In 2010. Jorge Vergara opened a new stadium to be used as Las Chivas' new home field. The stadium, named Estadio Omnilif after the nutrition company owned by Vergara, has the form of a volcano with a cloud on top. The idea of the design is to integrate the stadium with nature because of its proximity to a forest area. It is also used for conventions and as a business JVC center. Construction of the stadium began in May 2007 and concluded in July 2010. The stadium seats are colored red except for the low seats which are white. It has a large main entrance and 18 exits. Total seating capacity is 49,850 which includes 330 suites with capacities of 9, 11, 12 and 13 guests. 
an underground parking lot is available for suite renters which holds up to 850 cars and a parking outside the stadium with a capacity for 8,000 cars. The new stadium also has a store, museum, and various food and beverage concessions. A climbing wall and an area for children are planned to be built for a near future. The stadium's opening date was July 30, 2010. The opening match on that day was a friendly between Las Chivas and Manchester United in which Chivas defeated Manchester United 3 Euro 2, with the first goal scored by Javier Hernandez. Rivalries, El Clásico de Clásicos Las Chivas has developed two important rivalries over the years. Perhaps its most intense rivalry is with Mexico City-based club Arma Copyright Rica. Their meetings, which have become known as El Clásico de Clásicos, are played at least twice a year and signal a national derby. Both are the most successful and most popular teams in Mexico. The first confrontation between them ended with a victory for Guadalajara with a score of 3 a Euro 0. The rivalry began to flourish after the second match when Club Alma Copyright Rica defeated Guadalajara with a score of 7 a Euro 2. Although the huge defeat sparked embarrassment within Chivas, it was almost two decades before the rivalry became the Clásico. One of the very reasons why these two teams are arch rivals is because in 1983 and 1986 they brawled with each other, raising excitement among the fans. Thus, every time they play it is considered a match that everyone will remember. To this day, El Clásico de Clásicos continues to raise huge excitement in the whole country as well as in other parts of the world where there are fans of either team. The intensity of the game is lived so passionately that every time these two teams play a game, regardless of what position they are in on the charts or what level they show throughout the league, it is always considered the most important game of the season. The most recent win in El Clásico de Clásicos was when Arma Copyright Rica won at the Omnileaf 4-0 against Guadalajara. This loss proves to be one of the most embarrassing Guadalajara has had at home. El Clásico Tapatio the Clásico Tapata O, as it is known, is the oldest derby in Mexican football since its inception in 1916, being a game that is lived with great passion on the part of supporters of both clubs. It is well known in the most of the country that for Shiva supporters is more important to defeat Club Atlas than Club Arma Copyright Rica although for Club Arma Copyright Rica supporters this rivalry is very important, it is not the same feel for Shiva supporters. In the early stages the Chivas started to dub players of Atlas by calling them Margaritas. In reaction to the name, a group of Atlas supporters reacted by claiming that their rivals ran like Chivas locus, and to the Chivas players it was considered an insult. Over time the meaning of Chivas changed due to the popularity of the club and now it is an honor to be named a Shiva. They both shared the same stadium Estadio Jalisco which causes controversies with the fans and the flight that caused fragile deaths. Players, first team squad, as of July 16, 2014. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. For recent transfers, see List of Mexican Football Transfers Summer 2014. Art on loan, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Reserve teams. Chivas Rayadas, reserve team that plays in the Segunda División Cube then in the third level of the Mexican league system. Guadalajara, reserve team that plays in the Tercera División Cube then in the fourth level of the Mexican league system. Top goal scorers in domestic league, players in bold are still active with the team. Salvador Reyes, Omar Bravo, Eduardo de la Torre, Benjama N. Galindo, Maximiano Prato, Crescencio Gusha Copyright RREZ, Javier de la Torre, Javier Valdivia, Francisco Jara, Rama Cube Den Morales. Most appearances in domestic league, players in bold are still active with the team. Rama Cube Den Morales. Hector Reynoso, Alberto Medina, Benjama N. Galindo, Omar Bravo, Joel Zar NCHEZ, Aswaldo Zar NCHEZ, Club Officials, Management, Owner, Jorge Vergara, Honorary President, Anger Copyright Lika Fuentes Tar Copyrightless, Chairman, Vacant, 
Sporting Director, Francisco Palencia, Chief Operating Officer, Rafael Puent Jr. Director of Youth Football, Albert Benages, Director of Medical Services, Dr. Rafael Ortega Orozco, Director of Communications, Eugenia Valdez Flores, Managing Director, Julio Reyes Mar Copyright Mendes, Coaching Staff, Manager, Carlos Bustos, Assistant Manager, Ha Copyright Torilas, Assistant Manager, Fabia N. Albornas, Goalkeeping Coach, Luis Valds David, Fitness Coach, Federico Zibrigan, Assistant Fitness Coach, Armando Camacho, Technical Secretary, Jesus S. Hernandez Majaya, Medical Staff, Court Physician, Jesus S. Alberto Robles Hernandez, Physiotherapist, Mara Madrigal Valades, Osteopath, Jorge Roach, Masseurs, Alfredo Torres Zar NCHEZ, Jaime Castillo Jimmer Copyright Nez, Copa Libertadores Record, Guadalajara withdrew from the tournament following concerns raised over the H1N1 flu outbreak in Mexico, and later secured a place in the round of 16 for the 2010 Copa Libertadores. Managerial history, as of May 2014, honors, national, amateur era, Liga Occidental, 1908 a Euro 09, 1909 a Euro 10, 1911 a Euro 12, 1921 a Euro 22, 1922 a Euro 23, 1923 a Euro 24, 1924 a Euro 25, 1927 a Euro 28, 1928 a Euro 29, 1929 a Euro 30, 1932 a Euro 33, 1934 a Euro 35 and 1937 a Euro 38. Campia Cube Dender Campones, 1932 a Euro 33. Tornio de Unitard, 1929 a Euro 30. Professional Era, Primera Divisia Cube Den, 1956 a Euro 57, 1958 a Euro 59, 1959 a Euro 60, 1960 a Euro 61. 1961 a Euro 62, 1963 a Euro 64, 1964 a Euro 65, 1969 a Euro 70, 1986 a Euro 87, Verano 1997, and Aperture 2006. Copa Mar Copyright Zico, 1963, 1970. Campia Cube Dender Campones, 1956 a Euro 1957. 1958 a Euro 1959, 1959 a Euro 1960, 1960 a Euro 1961, 1963 a Euro 1964, 1964 a Euro 1965, and 1969 a Euro 1970. Copa Challenger, 1961. Interliga, 2009. International, Central American Champion. Central American in 1959, North Central American and Caribbean in 1962. CONCACAF Champions Cup, 1962. Copa Libertadores de America, runner-up, 2010. Friendly Tournaments, I-Mexico City International Pentagonal Tournament, 1958. Three Mexico City International Pentagonal Tournament, 1958. Two Jalisco International Pentagonal. 1962, Fiestas de Octubre Quadrangular, 1982, Copa Internacional Los Angeles, 1982, Jalisco International Quadrangular, 1994, Copa Informador de Fútbol Los Angeles, 1999, Copa Coliseo, 1998, Copa Reforma, 1911, Torneo de Primavera, 1917. Medla de la Junta de Festejos Patrios de la Villa de Zapopan, 1917, Medla Cola Cuben, 1918, Medla Caridad, 1918, Copa Militarizacia Cuben, 1918, Copa Deportivo Nacional de Terri Cuben, 1919, Copa Eugenio Pinza Cuben, 1921, Copa Francia, 1921 Euro 22, Copa Fabricas de Francia, 1924, Campeonato Official de Segunda Ferreza, 1924 a Euro 25, 1928 a Euro 29, 1934 a Euro 35, 1937 a Euro 38, Campeonato Categoria Juvenil, 
1928 Euro 29, Trofeo Casino Espar Plus or Minusol, 1928, Copa Presidential, 1953, Copa de Oro, 1954 A. Euro 1956, Trofeo de Don Adolfo La Cubed Pes Mateos. 1959, 1960, 1961, 1963, Campeonato de Segunda Categoria de Occident, 1939, Campeonato Official de Terza Refeitza, 1928 to Euro 29, 1937 a Euro 38. Torneo de la Ciudad de Guadalajara, 1961, Trofeo Campeona Simo, 1961 a Euro 62, Copa President Gustavo da Alz Orders, Copa California, 1977, Campea Cube N1A. Divisia Cube N Amateur, 1983 a Euro 84, Copa Europa, 1985, Trofeo al Equipo 1991 Euro 92, Copa Mar Copyright Zico de Segunda Divisia Cubed N, 1996, Copa Estrella del Milenio, 1999, Campia Cubed N Juvenile, 1998, Copa Pacuca, 2000, Copa Decate, 1994, 2001, Copa Lee Cubed N, 2003, Campia Cubed N de Filiales de Segunda Divisia Cubed N, Apertura 2004. Apertura 2006, Clausura 2008. Liga Premier de Asenso, Torneo Revolucia Cube Den 2011, Campia Cube Den de Filiales de Tercera Divisia Cube Den, Clausura 2005, Apertura 2005, Bicentenario 2010, Torneo Nacional Sub 15, and Vino 2011, 2013, Torneo Nacional Sub 17, Apertura 2011, Clausura 2012. Apertura 2013, Torneo Nacional Sub-20, Clausura 2013, Copa Diario Esto, 2006, Copa Marvel, 2009, Copa 100 or plus or minus Os de la UNAM, 2010, Copa Gold Marketing, 2011, Copa Jalisco, 2013, References External links CD Guadalajara Official Website CD Guadalajara History and Championships at FIFA.com